The Cystic Fibrosis community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals that are living, breathing, succeeding with cystic fibrosis. This video, Life After College with CF, has been made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Kiesi to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today you'll meet Gunnar Esiason, 23 years old with CF, recent graduate of Boston College, and currently involved in the working world. In spite of CF, Gunnar has taken charge of his life and owning it. My name is Gunnar Esiason. I was diagnosed with CF at age two. Along the way, I stayed physically active, I was a two-sport varsity athlete in high school. I went on to Boston College. I graduated in 2013, and I uh, have not let CF get in front of me. It's a different experience living at home. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with it. As far as I'm concerned, I have the best roommates in the world. But uh, it's definitely a different uh, feeling from being independent in college. Initially, when I graduated college, I wanted to go to law school. But unfortunately, I got a little sick grad after graduating. I drove myself into the ground in college, essentially and I, I, my health was not in the best place. It was really the first time that my health made a huge impact in my life and, and really changing my, my plan and what I wanted to do. I looked to the contacts that I had. Um, I looked at things that I had done before when I was actually in high school. I had volunteered as a hockey coach for the middle school program. Um, so I went and spoke to the athletic director, saw if they had any openings. I was given the opportunity to coach high school football at the high school that I graduated from. Uh, and after a week or two of it, I just absolutely fell in love with it. And I, I saw myself playing the role of the coaches that I had growing up. When I was growing up, the coaches that I had had a huge positive impact on my life. And I felt like I was now given an opportunity to have a positive impact in, in the lives of the kids that I coach. Uh, my favorite part of coaching is definitely seeing uh, a kid succeed for the first time, seeing someone throw their first touchdown pass, score their first goal. Those are just great moments for kids. I remember having those awesome moments growing up. <laughs> Seeing those moments for kids has been, has been a really rewarding part of coaching. For CF patients that are approaching graduation and thinking about getting a job, I would definitely say go for it. There's no real downside to it. If you feel like you've made a mistake, you can always back out of it. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a very rewarding feeling being a part of a workforce and feeling like I've, I've actually earned something for myself. At the Boomer Science and Foundation, I help out with the scholarship committee. Uh, I work directly with the Empire Challengers, one of our uh, events over the summer, and uh, I do some writing for a bunch of our websites. As a CF patient, compliance is always the number one thing. Uh, although finding a new routine in new phases of life, it can be difficult and it can be done. Like my parents have always taught me and like my doctors have always said, health comes first. So regardless of however I'm feeling, uh, the treatments have to come first and obviously before bed. Graduating college, it was, you know, I had to find time to balance my work and treatment life. And I think I've done that now after a year and a half of graduating. Um, I, I do think I have a pretty good balance. Telling potential employers that you have CF is a personal decision. Uh, fortunately for me, it worked out in a situation where I, I could tell them um, and I knew they would just accept me for whoever I was. Um, but I do understand uh, there are certain situ situations or circumstances where it may not be uh, wise to tell your employers. Uh, I think being an active person, an active part of society has been a huge benefit to my health. I don't sit around on the couch and feel sorry for myself. I'm, I'm up, I'm at, at a football practice, I'm at the rink uh, for four or five hours a day. And then I'm also helping out with the Boomer Science and Foundation. Uh, I get to meet uh, and talk to plenty of CF patients and that has been a huge opportunity for me to learn about CF and uh, see how other people are taking care of themselves. Uh, the best part of the working world is being my own person and, uh, and feeling a sense of independence with, with earning my own way. Uh, the first time I got a paycheck was a big moment for me uh, and, and I feel like I've, to this point, I've been an active person in society. If it does come time when I am sick and I have to do extra treatment or if I'm on IV therapy and I have to do uh, you know, an IV uh, med or something while I'm at work. I've been in situations where I've had to do that. Uh, fortunately for me, my, my coworkers and people that are around me know that I have CF and uh, it, there's no judgment passed whenever I have to hook an IV up. Uh, I've, I've always felt confident doing that. Even in college, I've felt confident around my friends doing, doing my meds. So uh, for me, that's, that has not been a different part of my life. One of the bigger problems that I had when it came to, to joining the workforce was I found myself that I, overworking. I found myself having these giant, huge hour days. 
Uh, and my doctor actually was a little displeased with me. Uh, she told me that I just, I had to, had to scale it back uh, if I could take a, a, you know, a few more hours to myself just to make sure that I was really feeling as good as I could be. As much fun as that was and as, as good as I was feeling, uh, doing that for a long period of time would have driven me right into the ground. Uh, so my doctor had to bring me back down to earth. So uh, inherently CF patients are hard workers. Uh, we have to take care of ourselves and we have to do four hours of extra work a day uh, between all the pills and medication. So use that to your advantage. Uh, you're a hard worker, you know you are a hard worker and, and translate that into your job. Uh, be a part of a team, be, uh, be a happy individual, be active and, uh, and make sure that hard work translates from your own life uh, to, to the team that you work with now. My responsibilities have definitely gone up as I've come home from college. I've proven that I can be an independent person and I like to be as independent as I can even though I'm living at home. Life after college is, is rewarding in the sense that I'm making my own way.